The 1970s were a really exciting time for black filmmakers. There were a lot of movies made by black directors and actresses, and they were getting more attention than ever before. This was thanks to a movement that started in the 1960s, which helped to change the way that people thought about black people in the public eye. One type of movie subgenre that became popular was called black exploitation, and in this video, we'll be talking about 20 of the most beautiful black actresses from that time and how they're doing now in 2024. Number 20, Tukey Smith, 71 years old. Doris A. Smith, known professionally as Tukey Smith, is an American actress and former model, born on September 25, 1952. She gained recognition for her role as Eva Rawley in the NBC sitcom 227. Smith's journey began in 1972 when she embarked on a successful modeling career, representing renowned brands such as Chanel, Versace, and Thierry Mugler. She also modeled for her brother's fashion label, Willy Wear limited her striking presence wasn't limited to the runway. She graced the pages of Vogue, Elle, and other prominent magazines. In 1978, Smith was honored as Bloomingdale's Model of the Year, a testament to her impact on the fashion world. She even became the second African-American model to inspire a mannequin in her likeness. Outside of her professional endeavors, Smith's personal life made headlines when she entered a long-term relationship with actor Robert De Niro from 1988 to 1996. Together, they welcomed twin sons, Aaron Kendrick De Niro and Julian Henry De Niro, born in 1995 through in vitro fertilization and a surrogate mother. Number 19. S. Epitha Merkerson, 71 years old. S. Epitha Merkerson, born on November 28, 1952, is a highly acclaimed American actress known for her impressive body of work. Throughout her career, she has received numerous awards and nominations, including an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and four NAACP Image Awards. One of Merkerson's most notable roles was as NYPD Lieutenant Anita Van Buren on the long-running NBC series Law & Order where she appeared in an impressive 388 episodes from 1993 to 2010. She also gained recognition for her portrayal of Reba the Mail Lady on Pee Wee's Playhouse and currently stars as Sharon Goodwin in the NBC medical drama Chicago Med, a role she has held since the series began airing in November 2015. Despite her busy career, Merkerson has also made time for her personal life. She was married to Toussaint L. Jones from 1994 to 2006. At 71 years old, Merkerson continues to captivate audiences with her talent and versatility on both the small and big screens. Number 18, Lynn Whitfield, 71 years old. Lynn Whitfield, born on February 15, 1953, is an accomplished American actress whose career spans television, theater, and film. She made her mark in the entertainment industry starting with notable performances on stage with the Black Repertory Company in Washington, D.C., after marrying playwright-slash-director-slash-actor Van Tyle Whitfield in 1974, she ventured into off-Broadway productions like The Great McDaddy and Showdown Time, before gaining international acclaim for her role in the groundbreaking play For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide, When the Rainbow Is Enough, alongside Alfrey Woodard. Transitioning to television, Whitfield had recurring roles on series like Boston Public and Without a Trace in the 2000s. She's also known for her captivating portrayal of villainous Mary Walker in the ABC legal drama How to Get Away with Murder from 2014 to 2015. Additionally, she's appeared in Hit the Floor and Mistresses. At 71 years old, Whitfield has been married twice. Her first marriage was in 1974. Later, she was married to director Brian Gibson from 1990 to 1992, with whom she shares a daughter named Grace. Number 17, Bern Nadette Stanis, 70 years old. Born on December 22, 1953, Bern Nadette Stanis is widely recognized for her iconic portrayal of Thelma Evans on the beloved TV show Good Times which aired in the 1970s. Even after the series ended, she stayed connected with her co-stars, including Ralph Carter, John Amos, Jeanette Dubois, and Jimmy J.J. Walker. In an interview, Stannis mentioned that thanks to smart financial management from the show, she didn't face financial hardships after it was completed. 
She continued to grace television screens with appearances on popular shows like The Cosby Show and What's Happening Now. On the personal front, Stannis has had four marriages. Her first was with her high school sweetheart, Thomas Fauntleroy, followed by Brooklyn nightclub owner, Darnell Johnson. She then married mechanical engineer Terence Red, with whom she welcomed a daughter named Dior Ravel. Despite their divorce, Stannis found love again with Kevin Fontana, with whom she's been married for many years. She also has another daughter named Brittany Rose. Currently, Stannis resides in Atlanta, Georgia, where she cherishes moments with her children and continues to be a cherished figure in the entertainment world. Number 16, Oprah Winfrey, 70 years old. Oprah Winfrey made history as the youngest and first black female news anchor at Nashville's WLAC TV, now WTVF TV, covering stories alongside John Tesh. Later, she moved to Baltimore's WJZ TV to co anchor the news, but was reassigned to less prominent roles in 1977. However, her career took a turn when she became the co host of WJZ's local talk show, People Are Talking, in 1978. Born on January 29, 1954, Winfrey's achievements extend beyond broadcasting. She became the first African-American woman billionaire and the first African-American female entrepreneur on the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Throughout the 25-year run of her iconic daytime TV talk show, she never missed a single day due to absenteeism. Her impact transcended media. Winfrey was recognized as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world by People magazine in 1997. At 70 years old, she continues to make an impact alongside her partner, Stedman Graham, since 1986. Number 15, Debbie Allen, 74 years old. Did you know that the University of North Carolina School of the Arts has honored a famous actress and dancer? Interestingly, this school denied her admission to its dance department when she was young saying she had the wrong body type for dance. Despite this setback, Allen has gone on to achieve great things, including five Emmy Awards, two Tony Awards, and even a Golden Globe Award. Born on January 16, 1950, she is most famous for her work on the television show Fame, where she played a dance teacher named Lydia Grant. Allen is now 74 years old and is married to a former NBA player named Norm Nixon. They have three children, Vivian, Nicole Nixon, Norman Ellard Nixon Jr., and Devon Nixon. She was previously married to a man named Wynne Wilford. 74 years old now, Allen is also friends with other famous people, such as Bill Cosby and Vanessa Bell Calloway. Number 14, Sarah Scott, 74 years old. Sarah Scott started on her acting journey in the late 70s, when she left New York University to join the Free Southern Theater, a group dedicated to bringing socially relevant theater to African-American communities in the South during the Civil Rights Movement. Upon returning to New York City, she continued her activism through theater, performing anti-Vietnam pieces and engaging with inmates at Rikers and Sing Sing prisons. Her off-Broadway debut came in 1970 with Slave Ship at Theater in the Church. In 1974, she graced Broadway in Ray Arana's play, My Sister, My Sister, earning a Drama Desk Award for her outstanding performance. This success led to a thriving career on both stage and screen, including a role in Nintozak Shang's acclaimed play for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Scott made her screen debut in the 1978 drama Pretty Baby. Born on September 1st, 1949 in Washington, D.C., she currently resides in Teaneck, New Jersey at 74 years old. Throughout her career, Scott has remained dedicated to using her talents to address social issues and inspire audiences. Number 13, Joe Marie Payton, 73 years old. Joe Marie Payton, born on August 3, 1950, is an American actress and singer with a rich career in television. You might recognize her as Harriet Baines Winslow from the popular sitcom Family Matters, where she starred from 1989 to 1998, originating her role from the earlier series Perfect Strangers. She also lent her voice to Suga Mama Proud, the lovable grandma from Disney Channel's animated series The Proud Family from 2001 to 2005, and reprised the role in later adaptations. 
Her performance earned her a nomination for an NAACP Image Award in 2005. Additionally, she had recurring roles on Will and Grace during its second season as the personal assistant to Gregory Hines' character. Beyond her acting, Peyton is a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and has even released a jazz album titled Southern Shadows in 1999. 73 years old now, throughout her personal life, she's been married four times and has a daughter from her first marriage. Currently, she's been happily married to Leonard Downs since 2007. Number 12. Loretta Devine, 74 years old. In 1971, Devine graduated from the University of Houston with a Bachelor of Arts in Speech and Drama. She furthered her education by earning a Master of Fine Arts in Theater from Brandeis University in 1976. Devine's talent shone on Broadway, where she debuted in 1978's A Broadway Musical. Although the show didn't last long, her breakthrough came with Coming Up Town, where she starred alongside Gregory Hines. Devine's achievements extend beyond the stage. Her role as Adele on Grey's Anatomy earned her a Primetime Emmy Award and numerous nominations. She's also been recognized with multiple NAACP Image Awards, winning nine out of 24 nominations. Devine has received Lifetime Achievement Awards from the Pan-African Film Festival and the NAACP Theatre Awards, along with the Thespian Award from the LA Femme International Film Festival. Born on August 21st, 1949, now 74 years old, Devine resides in Los Angeles, continuing to inspire audiences with her remarkable talent and contributions to the entertainment industry. Number 10, Azizi Johari, 75 years old. Azizi Johari was born in New York on August 24th, 1948. Growing up in a military family, she moved around frequently before settling in Seattle, where she attended high school and college. In 1973, Johari gained recognition with the poster Supernatural Dream, where she showcased her beauty with a distinctive Afro hairstyle. This caught the eye of Sammy Davis Jr., who included her in his touring show. She later made headlines as the Playmate of the Month for June 1975, appearing nude in Playboy magazine. Her fame continued to grow when she graced the cover of Leon Ware's album Musical Massage. Johari's popularity led to appearances in magazines like Jet and Players, which focused on African-American representation. Standing at five feet, six inches tall with measurements of 36, 24, 37, she also landed TV roles and small parts in films throughout the late 1970s and early 1980s. Despite reports of her involvement in the science fiction film Assassins in Time in 1979, the project never materialized. Now at 75 years old, Yohari's legacy as a trailblazing figure in the entertainment industry endures. Number 11, Alfre Woodard, 71 years old. Alfre Woodard, born on November 8, 1952, is a highly respected American actress known for her diverse and accomplished career. Starting in theater, she gained recognition with her role in the off-Broadway play for colored girls who have considered suicide. When the Rainbow is Enough in 1977, her talent earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Cross Creek, 1983, and a BAFTA Award nomination for Best Actress for Clemency, 2019. Woodard has graced the silver screen in numerous notable films, including Grand Canyon, 1991, Passion Fish, 1992, and others. She's also lent her voice to memorable characters, such as Serebii in The Lion King. 2019. Now at 71 years old, Woodard resides in Santa Monica, California, with her husband, writer Roderick Spencer, and their two children, Mavis and Duncan. Beyond her acting career, Woodard is committed to various causes. She's actively involved in Artists for a New South Africa, a non-profit organization focused on fighting the African AIDS pandemic and promoting democracy and equality in South Africa. Number 9. Carol Douglas, 75 years old. In 1974, Carol Douglas caught the attention of Midland International Records after they heard her sing during an audition. They signed her to a five-year contract, and her rendition of Doctor's Orders became a hit, reaching high positions on multiple music charts, including number two on the Billboard Disco Chart and number nine on the R&B Chart. Her success extended overseas, with the single reaching number four in France. Her debut album, the Carol Douglas album, was released in 1975, followed by Midnight Love Affair in 1976 and Full Bloom in 1977. 
Douglas's single, Midnight Love Affair, reached Numdollars 1 on the disco chart, but didn't make a significant impact on the top 100 charts. She also had a minor hit with A Hurricane Is Coming Tonight, which peaked at Numdollar 81 on the Hot 100 in April 1975. Now at 75 years old, Carol Douglas, born on April 7, 1948, in Brooklyn, New York, has also dabbled in acting, appearing in various films and TV shows, including The Last Days of Disco, Sex and the City, and Haunted. Number 8. Nell Carter, 1948 to 2003. Shirley Carter began her career in 1970. Starting in theater and later transitioning to television, she gained widespread recognition for her portrayal of Nell Harper on the popular sitcom Gimme a Break, which aired from 1981 to 1987. Carter's performance earned her two Emmy nominations and two Golden Globe nominations. Before Gimme a Break, she showcased her talents on Broadway, winning a Tony Award in 1978 for her role in the musical Ain't Misbehavin'. She also received a Primetime Emmy Award for bringing the same character to television in 1982. Additionally, Carter had a role in the 1979 musical adaptation of Hair, contributing her voice to the film's soundtrack. In 1981, Carter briefly appeared in The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo before landing her iconic role as Nell Harper. Born on September 13, 1948, her life tragically ended on January 23, 2003, when she collapsed and passed away at her home in Beverly Hills at the age of 54. Number 7. Lynn Thigpen, 1948 to 2003. Born on December 22, 1948, Sherlyn Teresa Thigpen moved to New York City in 1971 to pursue her passion for acting on stage. She had an extensive and successful career in theater, starring in various musicals such as Godspell, The Magic Show, and Working. Thigpen's talent and dedication earned her a Tony Award for her role as Dr. Judith Kaufman in An American Daughter in 1997. In addition to her theater work, Thigpen offered into film her first notable role as Lynn in Godspell, 1973. She also appeared as a radio DJ in The Warriors, 1979, and as Leona Barrett in Lean on Me, 1989. Thigpen continued to showcase her acting skills in movies like Shaft, 2000, and Bicentennial Man, 1999. Tragically, Thigpen passed away from a cerebral hemorrhage on March 12, 2003, at the age of 54, at her home in Marina del Rey, California. Her final film, Anger Management, 2003, released after her death, paid tribute to her in the end credits, honoring her legacy in the entertainment industry. Number 6. Aretha Franklin, 1942 to 2018. Born on March 25, 1942, she was an incredibly talented American singer, songwriter, and pianist. Throughout her career, she achieved remarkable success, earning 18 Grammy Awards, a Grammy Legend Award, and a Kennedy Center Honor. In the early 1970s, Franklin's popularity soared with hits like Don't Play That Song, You Lied, Spanish Harlem, Rock Steady, and Daydreaming. These songs were featured on her acclaimed albums Spirit in the Dark and Young, Gifted, and Black. Notably, in 1971, she made history as the first R&B performer to headline at Fillmore West, releasing the live album Aretha Live at Fillmore West later that year. Franklin had two marriages in her lifetime. Her first husband was Ted White, whom she married at the age of 18 in 1961. Her second marriage was to actor Glyn Turman, in a ceremony held at her father's church on April 11, 1978. On August 13, 2018, she was reported to be gravely ill and receiving hospice care at her Detroit home, surrounded by loved ones. She passed away on August 16, 2018, at the age of 76. Number 5. Hope Clark, 82 years old. Hope Clark is a multi-talented American artist, known for her work in acting, dancing, singing, choreography, and directing. In the 1960s, she shone as a principal dancer with both the Catherine Dunham Company and the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, she showcased her acting skills on stage, in films, and on television. As the years progressed, Clark transitioned into choreography and directing, leaving her mark in the 1980s and beyond. Notably, she made history in 1995 by becoming the first African-American 
and specifically, the first African-American woman, to direct and choreograph a major production of the opera musical Porgy and Bess. Her staging of this George Gershwin classic, which coincided with its 60th anniversary, received widespread acclaim. It toured not only across major American cities, but also reached audiences in Japan and Europe. Born on March 23, 1941, Clark, now 82 years old, continues to inspire with her artistic vision and groundbreaking achievements. Number 4. Darlene Love, 82 years old. Darlene Wright, known by her stage name, Darlene Love, had a remarkable career as a singer and actress. She first started singing as a child in her local church choir. In 1962, she caught the attention of producer Phil Spector, who gave her the name Darlene Love and had her record hits like He's a Rebel and He's Sure the Boy I Love with The Crystals, even though she was the lead vocalist. Love quickly became one of the most sought-after vocalists of the 1960s, collaborating with legendary figures in rock and soul like Sam Cooke, Diane Warwick, and Elvis Presley, among many others. She also made a name for herself on Broadway and even appeared in the Lethal Weapon film series. Her talent and contributions to music earned her a place in Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers list and induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2011. Born on July 26, 1941, Darlene Love, now 82 years old, continues to be celebrated for her incredible voice and presence in both music and film. Number 3. Mitty Lawrence, 82 years old. Mitty Lawrence, born on September 1, 1941, is an American actress and former model. She gained fame by winning the 1959 Miss Bronze California Beauty Pageant. Many remember her from her appearances as a billboard girl on Steve Allen's TV variety show. Lawrence also left her mark on the big screen, notably as Fanny Bryce's trusted assistant in the 1968 musical Funny Girl, and as a nurse turned activist in the 1972 drama Night Call Nurses. Throughout her life, Lawrence shared a partnership with actor Robert Dockey, who sadly passed away in 2008. Today, she is 82 years old. Number 2. Diane Warwick, 83 years old. Diane Warwick, born on December 12, 1940, is an iconic figure in the music industry. With a career spanning decades, she's earned her place among the top hitmakers in US history. 83 years old now, she's ranked as one of the most successful female vocalists during the rock era, with an impressive 56 singles making it to the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Her impact on music is undeniable, with a total of 80 singles either solo or collaborations making waves across various charts. Warwick has sold over 100 million records worldwide and has been honored with six Grammy Awards. Her contributions to music have been recognized through multiple accolades, including inductions into the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Grammy Hall of Fame, and the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. Beyond her musical accomplishments, Warwick has also served as a goodwill ambassador for the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, highlighting her dedication to humanitarian causes. Number one, Rosalind Miles, 1940 to 2022. Rosalind Miles, an American actress and fashion model, made a name for herself in the film industry during the 1970s. She became well known for her roles in various movies, particularly in American black exploitation films like Shaft's Big Score, The Black Six, and Friday Foster. Miles moved to Los Angeles, California to pursue her acting career after being discovered by a talent scout while working as a waitress. Her film debut came in 1971 in How's Your Love Life as Julie. One of her notable roles was playing Arna Asby, Shaft's girlfriend, in the action-packed Shaft's Big Score in 1972. Following her success in Shaft, Miles landed a lead role as Erica in the crime film I Spit on Your Corpse in 1974, directed by Al Adamson. She also appeared in other notable films like The Black Six, 1973, and The Manhandlers, 1974. Throughout her life, Miles married three times, but did not have any children. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 82 on February 8, 2022, at her home in Los Angeles, California. So this was all about today's video. If you enjoyed watching the video, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.